Hey everybody, it's G, the Food Truck General. Welcome to a long-awaited episode of Food Truck Foodies. So today, there's only one place we could go to get the show started again, and that's at Street Fair. So I hope you guys are hungry because we're about to put some balls in your mouth today. Tasty balls, that is. So come join me and Dom as we go one-on-one -on -one with some of these balls. Hey guys, it's me, Dominic from 210 Culture. We're here with owners and operators of Tasty Vols and More, Roy. And Billy Allen. And it's great to be here, great to meet y'all. What made y'all start the food truck for Tasty Vols and More? Well, initially, um, we wanted to do Cuban sandwiches because we're from Florida. And, well, I'm from Florida, my wife's from Kentucky. And we wanted to do Cuban sandwiches. But I can't get Cuban bread here. Mm -hmm. So, I was sense. like, how do we transition into something? and one ball came and then 15 balls later, this is where we're at. They're three ounce balls, um, 15 different flavors, and they're the best balls you ever taste. Okay. And originally the fried potato ball was something that they did serve in, in Tampa. It was a Cuban dish. Oh, wow. So we just did it and took a different variation of it and we added different ingredients to it to make it our own. So we got about 10 different balls on the menu. So 15, 15 yeah. right, 15. <laughs> what would you say is the most popular item that everybody gets here? I think right now the bacon cheeseburger really took off. Um, we started off the taco nacho was the number one thing. Bacon cheeseburger is like starting to hit it in the butt right now. So everybody's liking that bacon cheeseburger. But honestly, at the end of the day, you can't sleep on any of them because, man, because until you had them all, and it's a whole lot of having, when you have them all, you, you just have to pick your best one. We actually had somebody wanting the dirty keto tonight. So they literally Ooh. messaged us and were like, do you have the dirty keto? And we're like, not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And that's made so, with cauliflower. Oh, the cauliflower, 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 cauliflower ground turkey and Parmesan cheese. You that sounds it. unique. Yes, the very lighter unique. side. It's, it's, it's the fried lighter side. <laughs> that was her side. That was oh, her. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. gotta try that. Yeah, it's just something for everybody. But we have a little something. We have balls that don't have any meat in them at all. Um, like a vegan choice. Okay. Yeah. So somebody wants that. Now we don't do gluten free. Cause you yeah, know, I, you there. I want all my gluten. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, we like gluten, you, know, you know. Um, but we do have a ball that's you know uh, that has no, no meat. meat. Mm -hmm. We have the uh, one with cauliflower and ground turkey, and then we even have seafood balls. We have, crepe, we have a, a crawfish ball, we have a shrimp ball, and we have a crab ball. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So y'all need to keep keep up with them. Follow them online. Oh. Like, where do you see yourself in the next year or further than that? Man. Okay. Let's see, we've been in the business for a year right now. Mm -hmm. So we started out with our little pop-up tent and table and we were doing little things. And um, we got our trailer here in April. We opened up May 22nd was our first day. Now I have to say oh, this. Really? So since May 22nd up until last Saturday, we sold a thousand balls. And that's just from working on, on the weekends. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, the future plans is that we just introduced a new ball last night. We're working on a new ball. We're coming at you. Uh, we got a little Italian twist coming at you. So that's going to be really good. But um, the future, uh, we'd like to have, you know, quit our jobs eventually. Mm -hmm. Stop working. Work for ourselves that's completely. Great. And uh, get us a couple of ball trucks rolling around San Antonio. Because it's My the dream most is Food unique. Network. I want to yes. go on the great food truck race. <laughs> there you go. So you better watch out on television. Follow us everything so let's go ahead and try these out all right thank y'all so much thank for y'all services you. and everything now let's go try those balls now all right guys so it's time to get to the food and boy do we got a lot of ball puns for you today it's gonna be ball tastic so we're about to go balls to the wall and go balls deep in this food so starting off we're gonna take it easy and go with the foreplay i mean the appetizer so we have here uh fried olives look at these tiny so, little balls Yeah, look at that. So we're gonna try these 
out and see what they taste like. Cheers. Cheers. Quarantine cheers. Interesting. I like it. I'll fuck with it. Not bad. Mm. So, what we got next? Mm, we got yeah. spicy cheesy balls. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That looks great. Look at that. that. Cheese inside. Tomato, look like. Some pico. So, this is a spicy version. They do have a non spicy version for those who don't like it hot. So, here we go. It's like a, that pimento cheese mm. in the ball, but there's some, I guess, like chicken. Chicken, yeah, a little bit of chicken. So that's a little bit of meat in there. Mm -hmm. Kind of balance it off. The crackers are a good little. Yeah, like off. if you don't want to eat it all at once, you can use the crackers to scoop it out of it. It's really good. Mm -hmm. the, the big, big boys. boys. So we're going to start first with the Cajun balls. Oh my God. So the Cajun here does come with a side salad to go with it. So each order is going to come with two balls and then a, a, a side slaw, salad. Yeah. Or, yeah, some type of slaw. So we're going to go ahead and cut this one up here. There's a piece for you there, Dale. So yeah, the Cajuns, so they have the rice. So it's like, um, I forgot to say what's all in there, but I know there's rice and some shrimp in there. Um, it's really cool, look at that. So let's go in. And it has a little sauce on it too. It has a good texture to it. Very seafood mm -hmm. Like gumbo or jambalaya. Yeah. Like jambalaya in a ball, that's the best way I can describe it. Mm. So we're gonna jump into the next ball, the taco one. Taco. So there you got a you got a pico salad on this one. Um, so the coating it's ground beef with your onions on there, and the outside coating is actually uh, Doritos. So there's a spicy one that is a um, hot Doritos, but this one is just gonna be our regular Doritos. Mm -mm. So yeah, you can see in there you got the cheese, you got the meat in there, just like ground beef. Taco, mm -hmm. Ground beef. So Cheers. there you go. Like I said, when we came the first time. They had a spicy one, so the spicy one had hot Doritos. But um, one thing about them is that their menu is constantly changing every time you come. They try to change it to three items. That way every time you come you have something new to try. So you definitely need to make multiple trips. You can't just come one and try everything even if you wanted to. So mm. got one last one here to try in the balls and you do the knife in there. Definitely put the last one is your classic bacon cheese ball or bacon cheeseburger ball. Yes, so you see the bacon, the potatoes in there as well. Um, so here we go. Mm, cheers. I think it's a ketchup. Mm, a fancy, fancy sauce. All at once. It reminded me of like a loaded baked potato. Really Same good. with the slaw again. Got some cucumber, and then got onion, lettuce underneath it all. So these, yeah. right here, some chocolate salty balls. Our Oreo truffle. Oreo truffles. Look Whoa. at that right there. For you chocolate lovers out there, you're gonna love it. So you have Oreo in the inside, chocolate on the outside. Oh my god. It reminds me of a ho-ho. Uh, but this ball ain't no ho. But these are really good. So I'm definitely gonna of course, take it to this. Check out Tasty Balls on Instagram and Facebook to find out where they're at. And we're gonna keep not munching on this. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so that was delicious, and I'm stuffed. Oh and God. we learned a very valuable lesson today. Never underestimate the balls. Ain't that right, Dom? A mouthful of balls means a tummy full of yummy. So with that being said, check them out on Instagram and Facebook. Tasty balls and more. And for Food Truck Foodies, I'm G. I'm Dom. And remember, 210 Culture, catch, catch you in the, the streets. streets.